Individually, they earn about $12 a week in allowance, but collectively, 8 to 12-year-old kids in the U.S., 20 million strong, wield $43 billion of their parents' money in annual spending power. And they've got the stars to prove it. Tween stars, who are all the rage right now. Tonight in our Encore presentation, we visit with one of them, Victoria Justice, a seasoned veteran at 18. But what's the cost of fame so young? Here's Juju Chang for our series, Celebrity Secrets. Victoria Justice is a child star who's just now coming of age. She's packed a lot into those 18 years. She's worked hard for nearly half of them. Like Miley, the Jonases, and Selena, Victoria used a hit TV show to catapult into tween superstardom. Now she's breaking into movies and released her first album. I want my songs to be on the radio and I'd love to do a tour and do movies at the same time. Victoria is an actor, a singer, and a dancer, which makes her a triple threat on the Hollywood tween scene. Add cover girl looks and maybe she's a quadruple threat. I just hope it all works out because, you know, my family moved out to L.A. for me and I want to be able to, you know, buy a house for my parents and I want, I want my sister, I'm going to get choked up. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> she gets emotional in part because she's still refreshingly candid, but also perhaps because there's a lot of pressure on a career that began at the age of eight with a national commercial. I was watching TV one day and a kid on a commercial came on screen and I started yelling. I was like, Mom, Mom, and she came in the room and I was like, I want to try that. Victoria is half Irish, half Puerto Rican. Marketers call her wide-ranging appeal multi-ethnic, non-specific. When I was 11 years old, I had done over like 30 commercials and I had modeled for Guess and Gap and Ralph Lauren and a bunch of different people, um, which was really cool. But at that point, I was getting older, and I was like, well, I want to I wanna do TV and film. I want to move out to L.A. I want to really, like, go for it. I want to be an actor. I want to be an actor. Today, she has Nickelodeon star maker Dan Snyder to thank. The man who created iCarly, Zoe 101, and Drake and Josh. Victoria Justice is going to be one of the biggest stars in the world within five years. I think the girl's going to be making $10 million a movie. Hi, I'm Victoria Justice. She was just 12 when he cast her on Zoe 101. I'm an actress. What makes her a superstar on the launch pad? When she walked in and said, hi, I'm Victoria Justice and I'm 12 years old, I was like, all right, this kid has real charisma. I'm thinking, this is a kid I want to probably develop a TV show for. And he did. He created a show called Victorious, just for her, where she excels at navigating life as a student at an elite performing arts high school. This is not just a high school. These kids are all artsy and creative and talented. Do you want to be a movie star yeah. or a singing star? I want, to, I want to do both. You want it all? I want to do both. I want it all. Why not? But Victoria is just one of a slew of young would-be stars loaded with talent, hoping to land the jackpot, a show aimed at the lucrative tween audience. Boys and girls age 8 to 12 who spend $43 billion every year. I think the whole kids TV thing really snuck up on the entertainment business. So now the big agents want to sign the kids who star in these shows. And kids television keeps churning out those young stars. Big Time Rush features Kendall, Logan, Carlos, and James. They're TV stars who play pretend rock stars whose real-life concerts are now selling out. Sound familiar? I'm amazed at how loud Screaming Girls can be. We are too. Out. Never yeah. ceases to amaze. These four guys were plucked out of 15,000 who auditioned, and seemingly overnight, they've become big-time superstars. I was more freaking out because I didn't know how big it was going to get, but I knew that it was a big responsibility. And I, I don't know if I was ready to handle that kind of responsibility, that or, kind or of pressure. Or get a job in general. It's, it's tough. I mean, the thing is, it is tough. People don't realize how much people are looking at you and judging you and, and you know, constantly trying to, uh, I guess, um, watch you fail. Thank you. But the child star making machinery requires hard work, lots of it. We caught up with Victoria while she was shooting a prison musical spoof on the set of Victorious. She'd been working until 3 in the morning. And these are long hours you're working. 
They're, they can be pretty long. They can be pretty long. I think if you love what you're doing and with the whole cast, we have so much fun that it doesn't even feel like work half the time. And there's another price to pay for fame. Victoria gave up her childhood in many respects, even moved her whole family. When your family gives up so much for you and they, they just really believe in me, you know? And it's, it's really, it like makes me happy that. It's touching. Yeah, it's really touching. And I just want to be able to, to like, give that back to them in like a major way. Cause it's, it's amazing that they even did this for me. Sorry. <laughs> but how do you avoid the well-documented dark side of young fame? The one that Britney, Lindsay, and generations of child stars have long battled. I always have to remember that there are kids who are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that are watching me and I'm not gonna step outside and do something that, you know, they wouldn't be able to do too. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York. More on the topic tomorrow on our special Primetime Nightline, Underage and Famous, at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central.